Tornadoes tore through Tennessee earlier this month. Samaritan's Purse was there to help pick up the pieces. The group, though, now in Italy fighting COVID-19. Reporter Erica Francis showing us what the group warns the U.S. could look like without more restrictions. A week ago today, lift off in an effort to lift others. Italy has just been decimated by the coronavirus. And so we sent out our feelers to the, the teams there, the Minister of Health, along with other contacts we have and just shared our capability. The International Christian Relief Organization, Samaritan's Purse, deploying its 68-bed emergency field hospital and more than 60 disaster response specialists, including doctors, nurses, lab technicians, and more. I was in the military for 16 years, and I left just over a year and a half ago just to come here to start working with my father. Of course, nothing compares to Every country is shut down. But what I'm being told by the U.S. military and other people in Europe, Mayor's Purse is the only organization to go over there. We're the only ones leaving to go out and help others. Partnering with a hospital outside of Milan where COVID-19 has essentially taken over. Edward Graham, assistant to the VP of Programs and Government at Samaritan's Purse, telling news to every patient that has gone into their partnering hospital's ICU has died. They are hoping with their added help that will no longer be the case. So right now we're pretty max at full capacity in the ICU department along with our other beds that we're helping treat. But right now we're seeing old and young alike. As for our situation here in the States, Graham says they're prepared. We have the capability and we're ready to respond, say whether it be New York City, somewhere like New Orleans, um, whether it be in Seattle. If those governors call and ask for this capability, we can send it. The pandemic is under control. We are told Samaritan's Purse will return to Tennessee to help rebuild homes in Nashville and Putnam County that were torn apart by those tornadoes.